Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning and Life Hacks. Do you have a stinky or smelly dishwasher or washing machine or really anything in your house? Let me show you something real nasty up in this rubber. You see that? That is mold, my friend. That is mold. And I even try to wipe this every time I do a load of laundry, but it just collects down in here and then you get those nasty smells. Well, I have a simple trick for you. Now you may have tried vinegar, which is awesome. I've made an entire video on that. However, vinegar, depending upon how often, how much mold you have, the amount of vinegar that you use, it can damage the rubber right here. Much like putting rubber in the back of your toilet tank. If you let it sit too long, there can be issues with this rubber right here. Well, all the craze lately, my friend, is the activated charcoal. You may have seen this in your toothpaste, in your deodorant. I have tried tried it all. Now I love this stuff. However, it is very fine powder, very fine, and it can be a little bit annoying to try to clean up. So I like some good alternative solutions. This video is not sponsored by the way, and I have never done a sponsored video on this cleaning channel at this point. So this is what I want you to do. You're going to take a little of this. I like this. It's got activated charcoal. It protects and maintains machine parts and rubber seals. It's great for HE. And then if you look on the back of this, I'll show you how to use this. And then I'm going to show you one of the most neglected areas in your washing machine and why you want to be cleaning it out more often. You can see right here. It's like a sponge magnet for complete machine clean. Use it once a month or as needed to protect and maintain your washing machine. Safe for septic tanks. So you're going to put a little, I like to use just a microfiber towel. You could use a paper towel. It's a little bit gooey as you can see right here. The first thing that you want to do is clean out the inside of your rubber seals. I should have gloves on, so don't model what I'm doing right here. You're going to get in here. I would be generous with the amount that you use. It has a nice fresh smell to it. Get in there, clean all around and inside the drum. This works for a top loader um, as well as a front loader like you see here. Now, as I was lifting this rubber seal and cleaning underneath it, you may run into this as well or in your top loader. It smelled worse. It smelled worse getting all that trap. Let me just show you a little something. Listen to this. You hear that leftover water spinning around in here? That's also a culprit for odor causing things. So a little charcoal goes a long way. The next step that you're gonna wanna do is clean the inside of this tray. I made an entire video about it and how to remove your tray. And then the last step that you're gonna do here is you're gonna take the rest of this bottle. Again, you do not have to use this particular product, but anything with activated charcoal I think works amazingly well. You're gonna dump it right in there, fill it on up. I'm gonna fill it to the max here with the remaining of my bottle. If you have a top loader, you're gonna go ahead and dump this in your top loader right into the drum like you would right inside here. There we go. All right, now the next step. Now you do not wanna come on your clothes with any of this right here. This is just to clean out your washing machine. I'm gonna put it on a normal load and then I'm gonna put it on a hot water temperature so it can kill all that bacteria. Got it nice and hot to kill those odor causing bacteria. Again, this particular product I'm not fond of over other products, but if you have tried activated charcoal in other areas in your home, let us know in that comments box below. Let us know if you've tried this here in your washing machine. I think it's a great alternative. It's fun to spice things up. Get in nice and clean. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. YouTube thinks you're gonna wanna watch this video next, but I think you're gonna wanna watch this video. Let's see who's right.